I'm Liliana and I will be reading Frederick. Along the meadow where the cows grazed there was, and the horse ran, there was an old stone wall. In, in that wall, not far from the barn and the garnery, the chatty family of field mice had their home. But the farmers had moved away. The barn was abandoned, stood empty, and since the winter was not far off, the little mice began to gather corn, nuts, and wheat, and straw, and they all worked day and night, all except Frederick. Frederick, why don't you work? They asked. I do work. I gather sun rays for cold, dark winter days. And now, when they saw Frederick sitting there, staring at a meadow, they said, and now Frederick? I gather colors, answered Frederick, simply, for the winter is gray. And once Frederick seemed half asleep, are you dreaming, Frederick? They asked reproachfully, but Frederick said, oh no, I'm gathering words, for the winter days are so long and so many, we'll run out of things to say. And the winter days came, and when the first snow fell, the five little field mice took their hideout in the stone. In the beginning, there was lots to eat, and the mice told stories of foolish foxes and silly cats. They were a happy family, but little by little, they had nibbled up most of the nuts and berries, the straw was gone, and the corn was only a memory. It was cold in the wall, and no one felt like chatting. Then they remembered what Frederick had said about the sun rays, and the colors, and the words. Frederick, what about your supplies, Frederick? They asked. Close your eyes, said Frederick, as he climbed up on a big stone wall. Now I will send you the rays of the sun. Do you feel their golden glow? And Frederick spoke of the sun. The four little mice began to feel warmer. Was it Frederick's voice? Or was it magic? And how about the colors, Frederick? They asked anxiously. Close your eyes again, Frederick said. And when they, and when he told them of blue periwinkles, red poppies, and yellow wheat, and the green leaves of the berry bush, they saw the colors as clearly as if they Had been painted in their minds. So, waited. And the words, Frederick. Frederick cleared his throat and waited for a moment. And then, as if from a stage, he said, Who scatters snowflakes? Who melts the ice? Who spoils the weather? Who makes it nice? Who grows the four leaf clovers in June? Who dims the daylight? Who lights the moon? Four little field mice who live in the sky. Four little field mice like you and I. One is the spring mouse who turns on the showers. Then comes the summer who, pa who paints the flowers. Then the fall mouse is next with walnuts and wheat. And the winter is last with little cold feet. Aren't you lucky the seasons are four? Think of the year, one less or one more. When Frederick finished, they all applaud. But Frederick, you're a poet. Frederick blessed 
and took a bow, said shyly, I know it.